Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a radical expression. We've done similar problems before. I'm going to share the links down below. We have the square root of x plus 1 plus the square root of x squared plus 2x. And we're going to simplify this expression, something that works for all values of x for which this is well defined. And I'll be presenting two methods. And let's start with the first one. I'd like you to let me know in the comment section down below which method you like better. And if you have a third method or fourth, whatever, let us know. We are curious. Okay, so here's how the first method goes. Notice that this expression is one less than a perfect square. Have you noticed that? Because x squared plus 2x plus 1 is x plus 1 quantity squared. Therefore, it's perfect square. So this part can actually be written as 1 less than a perfect square. In other words, we can write x squared plus 2x as x plus 1 squared minus 1. That's what we're going to do because we do have an x plus 1 here, which is going to help us simplify this expression. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and replace the inner radical with x plus 1 squared minus 1. And then we're going to go ahead and use substitution at this point. Since x plus 1 is being repeated, let's go ahead and call it something. How about y? Don't ask why. You can use any variable you want. So if I set that equal to y, in other words, x plus y is equal to y, then we get the square root of y plus the square root of y squared minus 1. Is that a better version of the original problem? Absolutely, because notice it's much, much simpler. And guess what? This will give you an idea. We've done this problem before with a, with a different variable like a. You can go ahead and check that video out here. I'll add a card here, okay? Cool. Now let's go ahead and see how we can simplify it. Obviously, there's more than one way to do it, but the method that I'm about to use involves multiplying this by square root of 2 and dividing by the same thing because that wouldn't change it, right? Original problem. But it would help. If you distribute to 2, you're going to get 2y plus 2 times the square root of y squared minus 1 inside the radical. And then that is divided by square root of 2. We'll take care of that square root, square root of 2 at the end. Let's go ahead and simplify the numerator first. To simplify it, I'm going to pay attention to the following. y squared minus 1 from difference of two squares can be factored as y plus 1 times y minus 1. So first of all, I can factor this. Good. Not only that, if I add these two factors, what is y plus 1 plus, I just use parentheses for emphasis just to keep them separated, you'll get 2y, right? Which is this term right here. Nice. That is going to be super helpful. Let's see how we can now write it as y plus 1 plus y minus 1, which makes up 2y, plus 2 times the square root of y plus 1. And then I'm just going to separate the radicals, okay? And the whole thing is square rooted, and that is divided by root 2. Now, if you pay attention to this, look at it very carefully. Hopefully, you're going to realize that this is the square root of y plus 1, plus the square root of y minus 1 squared inside the radical. Have you noticed that? This is square root of y plus 1 squared. This is square root of y minus 1 squared. And this is like 2 times ab. In other words, this is like a squared plus b squared plus 2ab, which is, again, a perfect square. Okay? A lot of perfect squares, and it's just perfect. Now, numerator is that, but we also have a radical on the outside. Of course, they're going to cancel out square and the square root. Now, you might be thinking, aren't we supposed to use the absolute value? Absolutely, but notice that this is already a positive expression because we are adding two radicals. If y is real and greater than or equal to 1, then this sum should be positive. So we can just take it out as is and divide it by root 2. Remember, I told you that we were going to simplify this at the end. But before we do that, Let's go ahead and back substitute. What is y? Where, why did we use y? <laughs> okay, we used y for x plus 1. Remember, 
you could pick any variable you want, but y is equal to x plus 1. Great. So let's go ahead and write that down. Take note. Now we're going to go ahead and back substitute it. So replace y with x plus 1. This is going to be x plus 1 plus 1. So it's going to be square root of x plus 2. And then this one is going to be square root of x plus 1 minus 1, which is just x, divided by root 2. Now let's go ahead and multiply by rad 2 or radical 2. And this is going to become 2. We want to rationalize the denominator. And this 2 will be distributed inside. So it's going to be like square root of 2x plus 4 plus the square root of 2x all over 2. Of course, you want the denominator to be rational. That's why we call it rationalizing the denominator. Make sense? So that's the answer in the simplest form. And you can actually test it. Like you can plug in some numbers and see, to see if that really works. You can kind of check it out. For example, what happens if x is equal to 1? On the right hand side, you're supposed to get 2 plus the square root of 3. And then on the left hand side, you're going to get square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 divided by 2. Are they equal? That's a good question mark. Square each side, simplify as much as possible. You're going to realize that they are indeed equal. Okay, but do the checking for us because I'm about to talk about the second method. Okay, here's the second method, which I am hoping that uh, you'll find to be different from the first one. And also hopefully you'll enjoy. But again, let me know what you think. So this is the expression we're trying to simplify. And I'm going to call that capital A. And I'm going to write its friend, best friend, its conjugate. Okay. Not the complex conjugate, the radical conjugate. And I'm going to call that capital B. They, are, they usually use capital uh, letters for this. It's just a convention. doesn't matter. If you can want to use something else, that's fine. But with A and B like this, I can do good things. For example, what is AB like the product? Well, difference of two squares is going to give me the following. Square root of x plus 1 squared minus x squared plus 2x. But remember, x squared plus 2x was what? 1 less than a perfect square, and that's just perfect. So that's pretty much the whole, like the same idea, but in a little uh, format, okay? Now, x squared plus 2x is going to cancel out, and guess what? You're going to get the square root of 1, which is 1. Awesome. So a, b is equal to 1, first of all. I don't really care about b. b. I'm just using b temporarily so I can get a. Make sense? Now, what are, what are we going to do next? Here's the thing. We're going to go ahead and square each one of these. So a squared is going to be x plus 1 plus the square root of x squared plus 2x. So don't get me wrong. You can only get rid of the outer radical. And of course, this is just going to be the same thing with a minus sign in between. So this is a squared and b squared. What do you think I'm, I'm, I'm going to do with this? Add them, right? You could multiply them too, but that's not going to give you anything new. It's just going to be 1. So when you add these, the radical pieces cancel out, giving us a squared plus b squared equals 2x plus 2. That's nice. Now, how do we use this along with this? AB equals 1. Easy. If you know a little bit of algebra, you can handle this. If not, then go ahead and memorize these formulas because they're always being used. So A plus B quantity squared, that's a perfect square. I can write it like this. What is A minus B quantity squared? Same thing with a minus sign before the 2AB. Oh, there's no cube. So it's going to be minus 2AB. Now, here's what we're going to do. We know these because a squared plus b squared, we know 2x plus 2, and this is just 1. Remember that? So this is 2x plus 2 plus 2, which is 2x plus 4, and this is 2x plus 2 minus 1, which is 2x, sorry, 2x plus 2 minus 2 because 2 times 1, and that's 2x. Great. So these are a plus b squared and a minus b squared. So if you square root both, of both sides on both, you're going to get this. And that. And guess what? That brings us super duper close to the answer. All we need to do is add these up because we're looking for A, remember? And this is going to give us A directly because you don't, you, we did not use substitution. So you might like this method. Who knows? Divide both sides by 2 and you'll get the answer, which is the same one as before, right? Now, this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.